My name is Dr. Nina Park. I'm the new Chief Medical Officer for the Ambulatory Care Network for Department of Health Services. I want to talk to you a little bit today about some of the changes that are going on within healthcare. As you know, healthcare reform is coming our way in 2014. And we do need to prepare ourselves to be the health system that our patients will continue to choose for care. One of the major initiatives that DHS and you all are participating in currently is the medical home implementation. It's a cornerstone for how we're going to care for our patients in the future and how it'll make us become more patient-centered. Let me tell you a little bit about the four major categories that are entailed in the medical home implementation. One of the major components of the medical home model is the concept of impanelment. In impanelment, each of our patient is assigned to a specific provider, maybe a physician or a nurse practitioner. And the patient is also assigned a team of members from the clinic. They include care managers, patient resource workers, health coordinators, and other staff that are going to be caring for the patient as a team. That's also the basis for the other component, which we call team-based care. The doctors and the nurses who are in the medical home team will be working together to care for the patient and make sure that their needs are met when they need to be met. Another component is the care management. Each of our patients that we see in our medical home will go through a risk assessment. And based on that risk, the care managers are going to be able to care for the patients and provide them more specific needs for their chronic diseases, as well as concentrating on preventing disease. The fourth component of the medical home model is the use of a registry. It's an electronic tool that will allow our team members to care for their patients within their panel. In summary, the components of the patient-centered medical home that will be implemented first are impanelment, team-based care, care management, and registry. I want to give you just a few examples of how current operations will change once we fully realize the patient-centered medical home model. The way things are now, as one of the primary care providers in DHS, I work with different people on different days. My patients are those that get on the schedule. Carrying the medical home model in the future, I am part of a small medical home team that works together all the time to improve the health of our team's assigned patients. When a patient arrives in the clinic currently, we respond to the complaint and try to figure out what else they need help with. In the medical home model, an electronic registry provides a summary sheet that tells us everything the patient is due for, and it divides these tasks up and alerts the appropriate members of the team. Currently, I hear about a hospitalization or ED visit when a patient comes in and tells me about it. In the future, we have an electronic alert of our patient's hospitalizations and ED visits and bring those patients in to be seen right away. We work with patients, develop skills and plans to better manage their conditions and avoid unnecessary emergent care. I'd like to introduce you to a team that has begun this medical home transformation at one of our sites, Long Beach Comprehensive Health Center. While the team doesn't yet have the patient registry or all the care management tools that will be introduced to support implementation, they have made several improvements. They are clearly moving toward and are beginning to see the benefits of a patient-centered medical home. This is Dr. Samuel Orejo. I'm the lead family physician here at Long Beach Comprehensive Health Center. I am also the lead physician for the patient-centered uh, medical home. I'll be elaborating a little bit more on uh, what we do here with the patient-centered uh, medical home. Um, care uh, is different than what it was a year ago or even five years ago. Care is no longer dictated by a patient's uh, chief complaint on the day of presentation, 
but rather it's a uh, proactive process. I can tell you that uh, as a medical provider, I've grown to accept the uh, concept of uh, team-based care. Um, no longer do I feel like uh, I have to be down in the trenches, so to speak, seeing patients on my own and uh, without any communication with uh, the nursing staff and uh, the ancillary staff. As a whole, I think all of our roles are uh, being redefined. Uh, in the patient-centered medical home, the patient uh, comes first. And uh, it puts uh, our team members in more meaningful roles. As a physician, um, I feel like I don't have to waste my time doing something that someone else could do. For example, um, I rely on my team to review charts uh, before a patient sees me. When a patient comes in, I don't have to uh, hassle through thick charts, uh, looking for relevant information such as hemoglobin A1Cs, uh, lipid panels, um, immunization records, mammograms, and um, any other relevant information. In the end, it's all there for me on a summary sheet. Um, here at Long Beach Comprehensive Health Center, under the, um, the patient-centered medical home model, the patient comes first. Uh, there's no question about that. Um, our roles as team members are uh, expanding, uh, we're evolving, it's a journey, it's a, it's a process. Our, uh, as I stated previously, the communication between staff is uh, improving, it's growing. Um, it's almost as if uh, the uh, staff up in the front know what I'm thinking when I, um, when I see a patient and when it's to be done. It's, uh, it's a comprehensive process, um, but we're still working. Hi, I'm Anna Edwards, Assistant Nursing Director, working with the Ambulatory Care Network in Care Management. One of the key tools for care management is the new disease registry. A registry gives us system alerts when patients are in need of preventive health measures, such as an immunization being overdue. And in chronic disease, it is very useful in tracking patients who need follow-up labs or follow-up with specialist appointments. Another useful tool that's being developed are care kits. Care kits contain all of patient education, staff education, and protocols. Defined roles and responsibilities for each team member helps with the patient-centered medical home team-based care concept. The goal is to provide an effective, efficient care environment to help improve the patient experience and their health outcomes. Ultimately, Care management is not just one person's responsibility in the patient-centered medical home. It is a team effort. My name is Victor Arcala, care manager. On a daily basis, we talk to the team about high-risk patients. Patients with uh, high-risk complications can be referred to the care manager so we can uh, help them navigate through our system. When I do follow up with uh, these patients, they feel like they're cared about. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback from our patients. They really enjoy and really like to be felt like a family member here at our medical home. Carrie, I'm a patient resource worker here at Long Beach Comprehensive with the medical home team. Uh, my role in the medical home is to uh, check the patients in as well as overseeing patient empanelments. Patient empanelment is assigning the patient to a specific primary physician. This is important with the medical home because it clears up the confusion uh, with the patient as well as with the medical staff as to where the patient needs to go or who the patient needs to be assigned to. For example, prior to medical home patients were being bounced around from physician to physician uh, because they were not assigned to a, a doctor yet. Now that we have implemented the medical home, any of the staff, registration staff, as well as the medical staff can go ahead and view who this patient is assigned to. Um, so that way we are putting the patients with the right physicians. Um, 
I've heard from patients that they are very pleased. The waiting time has been cut down drastically. Um, I've heard patients specifically quote that they're excited. They see the doctor and they leave. They don't have to wait around for appointments for pharmacy. Everything's done in one centralized area. Hi, my name is Dorothy Jung and I'm the health coordinator. Well, I participate in all aspects of the patient experience, such as the pre-visit, visit, and post-visit activities. I provide basic health education and also help them find community resources. Since the implementation of the medical home team, we have more of a connection with the patients. They recognize us by face and they're starting to know us by name. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope you found the information we share with you useful. If you need additional information, please contact your clinic administrator or medical director. I look forward to working with you in the weeks and months ahead. Thank you.